Huge news, Everson Griffin to the Detroit Lions. Let's break it down. Welcome back to an all new episode of Let's Talk Lions. Thank you for your continual support and watching me talk about a thing that I love that doesn't know I exist. It's like in the fifth grade when you like that girl at the lunch table, but she's like, I've never seen you before. And you're like, well, I love you. And this is weird. Obviously, the Detroit Lions have signed Everson Griffin from the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, that's right. Everson Griffin offers so much to us right now. We traded a sixth round draft pick for Everson Griffin. Yeah, I know. I feel like we just robbed Gringotts, right? We just were like, hey, let's put all the gold we can find, throw it into Hermione's bag, and get out of Dodge. This is the definition of low risk, high reward. We traded a sixth round draft pick to the Cowboys for somebody who's going to offer us so much. What I love about this trade is the fact that Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia, the organization, there is this let's win now mentality. We are in this clutch mode of, all right, the team has come together, looking ahead at the schedule, and we're like, let's freaking win now. I am amped. I think this is going to play huge into our defensive scheme. What's nice is we signed him for this year and this year only. We'll see what happens by the end of the season. We'll see the 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 part that he plays in our defense and if that's going to be something that we'll need again next year. But right now, this is a big sign. You look at what Everson Griffin's been able to do with Minnesota, with Dallas. What I think will be best about this is it offers relief for Trey Flowers. To have Griffin on the other side of the D-line, what that's going to do is that's going to pull the O-line's focus into two different areas, right? And if that's the case, that gives even more opportunity for Griffin, for Flowers, and for our linebackers to actually rush through and put more pressure on the opposing QB. Not to mention Griffin's a veteran. And with that comes his awareness. He is so aware. If you look at his gameplay, you look at film on him, the guy knows what's going on at all times. And I love it. I love that we're pulling in a vet to say, let's win now. The only bad news that I see in this whole thing is the fact that he is ineligible to play against Indianapolis. He won't be playing this week. However, his first game will be the following week against Minnesota. And it helps that he knows that regime. He knows the way they play. I love that. It will be vital against Minnesota. I wish he was playing this week. He is not. But alas, here we are. I am happy with this trade. Let me know. What do you think about the Everson Griffin trade? Do you think this is going to pan out well for the Lions, for our D-line? Let me know and drop it in the comments. I'll see you next time.